Hello everyone, welcome back to another video with Good. And in this video, we'll be talking about how we can manage your assets with Webpack. And to do that, we first need to purchase and download Good. To do that, we go to themes.getbootstrap.com. Scroll down past our latest version of React for Good. But um, in this video, we're talking about our HTML version. So scroll down a little bit more and we find Good right here and open that up. Go ahead and Add to cart and purchase good now once you've done that the file should look something like this one here right here and then you need to just unpack it when you unpack it it should look like this go to your themes go to your tools and then you have our webpack config here and the webpack files here so in here is where you can add remove or even customize certain things within the assets list so before we get started with that let's go ahead and look at our documentation to understand how all these things work so let's go to our disk and go to index go to documentation go to build go to webpack and we have our quick start right here so this is basically the steps that you need to set up your webpack and then here we have our build options where we have certain flags to basically build certain variations of good so we have an rtl version we have a prod version css and js prod is basically the same as just a normal build it's just minifying your css and js files so here you can the steps on how you steps you need to take if you want to add new plugin so there are two things that you need to take note of number one is is your plugin going to be used everywhere within your project if it is it should be a global plugin so to do that you need to put it within the global plugin bundle however if your plugin yeah if your plugin is only being used like once or twice within your entire project then it might be recommended that you load that additional plugin as and when it's needed and to do that you just have to add the, the plugin within the custom folder so like here it's the steps you need to first add the package like it could be anything like any package within yarn or npm and then include the require uh, package and the path so if it's from node modules this just works if it's not then you need to basically define the path to the custom plugin that you're including and then initialize it if required some most of the times it's required to initialize like um, basically load it into the window or into the dom not you can just ignore this and then these are the configurations where you can just read up to see what what each configuration does for example plugins is where all the third party vendor plugins are from uh, what are customs what what goes into plugins are js what goes into sas are js and what are these custom folders and so on and then we have our integrations where we include certain things like this all the entries like how we generate webpack files like the css the js and so on and then we have certain additional reading material where you can read up to understand how on the configuration how, where all these files are located if you go to our ide of choice we open up our webpack config file and it's located in, in here where you can be defining like or resetting how everything is being built you can go ahead and customize this page if you are familiar with with webpack however if you are just you just want to add and remove like plugin first of all plugins.js is where we we define all of our global plugins so all of it is here we have our jquery bootstrap and so on and then these are our optional global plugins that we are including within good you can again remove all this if you want so to remove is you can just highlight the plugin that you do not want like for example select two you don't need it just delete it save the file and rerun your webpack command and you have the plugin removed from your global bundle now if you want to include anything similar to this you just need to add it so for example say i remove select 2 and i want to add it in so what you do is just paste it into this list just define the paths to it and that's it uh, no that, that's it you need to run webpack and then that's it some plugins will come with certain css or sas files this is where you define those so you can define like css files here you just keep importing them and just putting it wherever you want this is for global plugins if for custom plugins you need to create a folder for those plugins for example like draggable we have a draggable.js files and then these are all the draggable libraries or different like variations of draggable so we have like swap animation, swappable and so on. So all these are within the draggable plugin, but you're bundling all this up together within one single draggable bundle file. So for your custom plugin, you can do the same thing, just follow the format. And for certain things that have CSS in it or stylings in it, I'm just trying to find if we have any other plugins that require CSS. Yeah, like this. So this is where you define the JS, the required JS files, and we are including the SAS file right here 
which is this one here. All right, so that's it for this video. This is how you can manage your assets using Webpack. Hope you find this video informative. If you did, give us a like. Please also subscribe to the YouTube channel because we'll be releasing a whole lot more of good videos or rather videos about good coming soon. Please follow us on our social medias. Links will be in the description below and I'll see you guys video. Take care.